Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain the projections of a point located in the second quadrant. Let us see the 3D representation of the quadrant diagram. The same thing can be shown in two dimensions like this. Here you can see the 3D representation of the second quadrant diagram and the same thing can be shown in 2D like this. Now let us consider a point which is located in the second quadrant and find its projection. It is given that the point B is located 30 mm above the horizontal plane and 20 mm behind the vertical plane. Here you can see the point B which is located 30 mm above the horizontal plane and 20 mm behind the vertical plane. To get the front view of this point capital B, we need to draw projectors towards the vertical plane and obtain the front view point as small letter B dash. In the same way, to obtain the top view of the same point capital B, we need to project it towards the horizontal plane and obtain the top view point and represent that using small letter B. After getting this top view point small letter B, we need to rotate this horizontal plane along with this top view point into 90 degree clockwise. So the horizontal plane will join with the vertical plane and it will give us the end solution like this. Now let us move on to the shortcut method. To represent or to locate the above or below positions, we need a horizontal plane as a reference and the above and below positions can be visualized only in the front view. And the front view must be represented using small letter with dash. In the same way, to represent or to locate the in front of or behind positions, we need the vertical plane as the reference plane and the in front of and behind positions can be visualized only in the top view and the top view must be denoted using the corresponding lowercase letter. Now let us solve the same problem which we have solved using the general method. Here it is given that the point B is located 30 mm above the horizontal plane and 20 mm behind the vertical plane. From the keywords above and behind, we can understand that the point is located in the second quadrant. For our easy understanding, you can see the same diagram of second quadrant and the point B is located and you can see the origin point. Temporarily, I am assuming that the point B dash that is the front view point and the top view point B are located in the same origin. For easy explanation, I am just relocating this point over here. Here one thing you should keep in your mind, the B dash point can move only in the vertical direction and the B point can move only in the horizontal direction. First let us see the first half of the problem. It is given that point B is 30 mm above the horizontal plane. So the point B dash need to be moved in the above direction that is in the upward direction for a distance of 30 mm. It is also given that the point is 20 mm behind the vertical plane. So we need to move this top view point in the behind direction that is towards left for a distance of 20 mm. After getting this horizontal line that is OB line, we need to rotate this OB line 90 degree clockwise which will give us the final solution. After getting this final solution, we have to represent the same on a 2D paper. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you have understood the concepts very well. Don't forget to like this video and give your comments. Also don't forget to subscribe this particular channel.